wisdom. How are you guys? I'm so... I wasn't looking at the screen. <laughs> uh, I'm still getting used to looking at where I'm supposed to look at versus the lighting. That's what I'm trying to find. Me. But anyways, um, I'm super excited to be here. I always am. I... Gosh, there's so much. How's the energy for you guys? The energy is pretty intense right now. Um, we're approaching a full moon, the second full moon of this month, which is on this Saturday. Full moons are about releasing. So remember last month or earlier this month, scroll backwards through the posts um, and even old Wednesday with some videos, but make sure you write a list of everything you want to release Release from your life you no longer want. It could be, I don't know, bad hair. It could be, it could be getting, you know, better acclimated with your health, or it could be releasing fear. It could be releasing anything, truly. Whatever you don't want in your life anymore, write it on a piece of paper, set the intention, say a happy little prayer over it to whoever you speak to and pray to, and move forward. Light that ish on fire. Do not even think about it. Do not go back to it. Let the universe do its magic. Trust, faith, and believe. The off, often, so often, all of us, because we're all humans, we all do this. When we are trying to uh, actualize things, bring things into our life, manifest, we hold on to it so tightly that we then block the energy. So that's why I tell you guys. All the time when we do these, when I do these releasing ceremonies, write it on a piece of paper and throw it in the fire and let the universe take care of it. So before I start to talk on, you know what? No, I just want to say I had such an awesome, interesting day. I went to Denver and I don't, I love Denver, but there's only like one major highway that goes from north to south. Being from the East Coast, it's something that has... I don't know, I haven't been able to release yet <laughs> my annoyance for it. So anyways, I drive up there. I meet this fabulous, wonderful woman. Her name is China Brooks. If y'all don't know who she is, you need to find her on Facebook, YouTube, wherever else she is on social media. She is a magical unicorn. That's all I'm going to say, and you need to find her. And lunch turned into three and a half, almost four hours. Um... She's freaking awesome. And I have to say a shout out to my wifey, Lumpy. Lumpy, I love you. This is like day seven or eight of like not washing my hair. And those curly people out there, you know what I'm talking about. Um, thank you for this beautiful haircut. So this week, I still have the cards where they lie. I haven't touched them. I left them here all day. I literally just walked in the door, hit record, and I'm here with you guys. So this is card one. I'm using two, three decks today. This deck, Archangel Power Tarot. Middle card is the Angel Tarot deck. And then the fourth card is the Angel Answers. So, I hope you guys are doing well. Ground yourself, put your feet in the grass. That's it, that's as simple as it can get. And just stand there and let the Earth, Mother Earth, take your energy if you're feeling frantic, if the moon energy is too much, Really go inward and get silent. Do not pay attention to any outside nonsense. Um, and only, this is so important, surround yourself with positive, loving people. There's a theme I'm noticing, a pattern that I've noticed, and old people in your life are regurgitating and coming back in, which is not a bad thing. It can be a beautiful thing. Use discernment. If it's an energy that you have said no to in the past, do not go any further. Um, yeah, that's been interesting. I've noticed it in my life. I hopped on a Periscope yesterday and she was talking about it and I was like, oh, I need to talk about it. So make sure you use discernment with the energy that you're inviting into your life and how you are showing up yourself. Ground yourself. The energy is thick and intense and it can either work with you or eat you up. So that's why it's important to be centered. But anyways, we will go forward. This is the first card, and it is, again, I don't have my glasses on, Aww. the Lovers, ooh, the Lovers, so this is the Lovers card, Archangel Raphael, and he, I love him, he is healing, he's emerald green, he is the heart space, it's all about the Lovers, so, 
before I go forward, it can be lovers in a romantic sense for sure. It can even mean partnerships. It can mean business partnerships, any type of partnership relationship doesn't matter. Um, but what I get out of this as a whole is to come from the heart space, use your heart to make your, <laughs> it says it, <laughs> make choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. So, uh, love, tattoo says that, come from that heart space, that heart-centered emotion. That is what is going to serve you best with making your decisions. Yes, it's great that we have logic and we can use our brain power. Oftentimes, in my experience, in my personal life, the decisions that have panned out to be the most amazing or the aha moments have been made from a place of the heart space. Um, if I had made decisions from my brain in those situations, it would have passed. The opportunity, moment, whatever would have passed. So get out of your way. Stop thinking. Seriously, go outside, put your feet, there's a window right there, put your feet in the grass, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, give your worries away to your highest and best, and come from, connect back to the heart space, connect back to your center, your being, and make those choices, the decisions you need to make based on that. Trust, let go, trust the universe will always have your back. That's it, the universe will always have your back. So peeps, card number one, this is for you. Or if you're doing the full reading, just stay on. Okay, card number two, and this is from the Power Tarot deck. And this, <laughs> a major, Arcana card. I've talked to you guys weekly so far on the difference between major and minor arcanas. This is the first card was major. The second card is a major arcana card as well. And this one is strength. This is Archangel Ariel. I love the strength card. It is about harnessing that inner power that you have. You know it and you're so there. You got to believe. Believe, move forth, and just hold that space. And even if you don't really feel like you believe in the sense, I don't know, just come from gratitude. All these little pieces that have connected your life together to get you to right here and right now, believe in that because all of that has gotten you to this point. Believe in, you know, the good deeds that you do, the, the goodness that you have inside of you. Whatever thing you need to hold on to to make yourself believe, or even fake it till you make it. Say a mantra, I believe in myself. I, I hold belief in myself. Whatever it is, I believe in myself and I love myself fully. Say it every single day. Put sticky notes, whatever you need to, around your house. It starts to infuse in your brain and then you start to believe it as well. But it says, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion, which is amazing because to release all these, the belief comes in. And if we don't release these, it's gonna be really, really hard and difficult to fully believe in yourself because you're still holding on to way too much crap that just doesn't serve you. Let it go. It goes back to the first card even. I said pray to your, uh, your people, <laughs> your spirit team to help you so that way you can connect fully with yourself. Let it all go. There's really no reason worry doesn't serve you. And since we're energetic and energy as humans and everything in life, the more we put out a thing, that more that thing comes back. So when I say go outside and put your feet in the grass, as simple as that, hold, close your eyes and close the, hold the intention, it will help you a lot. When I'm feeling super frantic, you know, I can do yoga all day long. Sometimes it doesn't work to get out of my headspace. It does more often than not. That's why I do it. <laughs> Sometimes I just need to go and stand outside. As simple as that. Go hug a tree even. Okay. Third card. <laughs> and this is from the Power Tarot Archangel deck. I probably said that crookedly. But this is the Knight of Raphael. It is from the Archangel Raphael suit. And it could be either about a person or a situation, um, but committed romantic relationships. Oh, and is that lovely? It kind of ties into the lover's card. 
being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. This for me right now is freaking perfect. The four hour conversation I just had with my magical unicorn friend, oh my gosh. I was driving home. I hate driving north and south because, and I hate's a strong word, I dislike it because of the traffic situations. And of course, I hit traffic because I'm putting out the energy, right? Let my lesson be your lesson. <laughs> and because I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, I obviously need to take a deep breath by myself. And then I turned on the music, I started to sing and dance, just rolled down the windows, had a grand old time, and magically my GPS, I mean, it's a GPS, it's smart, but I happened to look at it when it did this. Oh, you know, you can get home an hour faster if you take this next exit and you reroute. Ha! Ah. So I got home when I was supposed to, at five-ish, and yeah, I'm on tangents all over the place. Bear with me. I'm just too excited because I know the energy is thick right now and you may be feeling some type of way, but I know it's going to come for each and every one of us. And I'm just going to go with that and hold that space because it's freaking magical. Magic, 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 magic. And it comes back to having the belief in yourself so strong, so intensely. Just when you believe in yourself so much, you don't need confidence really because you it's a natural confidence it's not like you have to it's just there at least that's my experience and it wands and it waves because i'm a human being but it's a practice so and definitely committed romantic relationships hallelujah yeah i got nothing with that <laughs> it could be totally relationships as the card said and it just could be it could be the romance of life, the romance of you getting excited about something or about the magic that's coming in and happening currently in each and every one of our lives. It could be as simple as that. So don't get tied necessarily to things. A romantic relationship could even be with yourself. Um, Archangel Raphael is all about healing. Green is healing. So, of course, you'll know, first and foremost, as I talk, how it resonates with you. And even if I didn't say how you just know it's that too it comes back to the belief and the trusting oh i have one more card <laughs> so this card angel answers it's an oracle deck the first three tarot decks the two they're two different tarot oh i just saw it <laughs> so um that totally just threw me off <laughs> so the angel answers oracle deck it's pretty much angel answers to the point. It's a sweet deck. They're all pretty sweet. Um, and yeah, so they have a variety of answers and sayings and whatnot. And I just pulled one. I just, every day I shuffle or Wednesday, I set the intention. This is for everybody who's going to watch or listen to this. Um, so everybody gets answers. And this is the card that I happened to pull. And I literally just peeked it right now, which is why I'm even more excited. And it says yes. It says yes. So yes to everything, yes to anything, yes, 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 all over the place. It comes back to the belief in yourself, it comes back to making your dreams happen, it comes back to whatever is yes for you. Yes. Yes. Yes is coming. Yes. I don't have anything besides yes because I'm going to let you guys go with what you feel this means for you. I know what this means for me and because it's business related as much as I want to share I'm gonna use some discernment and let you guys find out when I post it on YouTube so this is amazing this to me means all of the freaking months of hard grueling emotional labor that we've all been through um, whatever else you've been working on this to me it means yes it is happening it is coming to fruition your magic moment is here the end of the rainbow is here and it's not the end because things are always continuing um but it's beautiful and it's magical and this I want to like ah! <laughs> and I'm going to my lovely beautiful souls out there this was a long one I don't even know how long but my battery is going to die really soon and I will 
wrap it up. Card number one was about the lovers. It could be a romantic relationship, it could be yourself, or a beautifully harmonious partnership in some kind. It does not need to be necessarily romantic in nature. It can definitely be platonic or a soulmate relationship on any level. Um, and to make the emotions, the choices rather, from your heart space. If you listen to your brain too much, this is not about the brain. I've had a few conversations with some of my friends We've come to the conclusion we think the veil, the veil between the universe and our, our reality is thinner. When I say this is magical, I'm getting chills in my body, you guys, listen to yourselves. I know you guys have this and I know that we are, it's all a theme, we're all connected. Believe in yourself, make those, don't have fear, just go. Yay, follow the heart space, it's not going to lead you wrong. It is not gonna lead you wrong. You have to trust and believe though. That is our lesson right now. That is our lesson with the universe and our spirit peeps. They want to know, are you really ready? Are you really ready for what we have to give you? Because we're gonna give you exactly what you want that you've been asking and praying for. Are you truly ready? And they're saying this is a test. So all these bumps and bruises, hang on tight, make magical wishes, center and ground yourself and stay in that space because the baby, the magic is freaking coming. I am stoked. Second card. Strength card, stand in your space, be strong, connect back to yourself. Do not listen to the outside riffraff, I promise. You guys have all of the freaking answers inside yourself. That is who I am as a teacher. I love you guys and I'm so happy you're here. I do. I want one day that you guys don't need to, me, you don't need me. I hope you guys stay in my life as friends, but I want to get to the point on the spiritual side that you guys don't need me because you know inside yourself. And we'll always need people along the way, of course. And the universe will deliver those people to us that we need at that time, but you have to have faith and you have to trust. And what I see and hear and feel on the bigger whole, there are so many people putting their validation in other people's hands. Start with yourself, connect back <laughs> to your inner strength. I'm not even gonna pick that up, <laughs> I'm just not. The third card is all about committed romantic relationships. And it's a night card and nights to me are they're fast, they're, they're get it done, go, go, go energy. So we're putting things together, the committed, this one says romantic relationships, I'm gonna give it a blanket and say any relationship because you can have a soulmate relationship and feel love for them, it doesn't have to be romantic. And it could be the romance with yourself, getting back to yourself, standing in your strength, believing yourself and making those decisions from your heart space connects you back to yourself. The relationship could very well be with you. And being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. <laughs> Stay there, it's lovely. And then a big fat yes. Yes to whatever. So yay. I love you guys dearly. Please post and share anything you've got on your brain down in the comments below. Um, find me on YouTube, I'm there five days a week. Make sure you like, make sure you hit subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends, because sharing is caring. <laughs> I love you guys a lot. I hope you had an awesome rest of your week. Uh, let me know what's going on, and I'll see you guys. Well, if you're on YouTube, I'll see you guys tomorrow and Friday. And if you're in this page, then I'll see you guys next Wednesday.